Greetings, everybody. This is your boy, Rasta Thomas. This is the Negro Network. Will Smith and Chris Rock. Everybody talking about what happened at the Oscars. Everybody see the video by now. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> He is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. OK. I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a... Uh, Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. Man, Will Smith dead wrong. Dead wrong. But you know what? It goes way deeper than that because everybody talking about it on social media, all over the place, Facebook, Instagram, and other places. YouTube, this and that. But what I notice, and it's something I've been talking about, most of the people in the black community they're cheering on Will Smith. They're defending him. They're saying he do the right thing. They say he was protecting his wife, defending his wife. Yeah, he don't play around. Yeah, he get points for that. And some of them also going forward and saying, Chris Rock is a punk. He ain't do nothing. But my view on it, like I say, Will Smith dead wrong. He dead wrong. Now, I know emotions is get the best of us at different times. I get that. But as grown men, as grown adults, we got to control ourselves to some point, man. We really do. Will Smith dead wrong. He been in this game for a long time. People going to make fun of you. They been making fun of his wife. I understand they say she's suffering from some disease that make her lose her hair and this and that. This ain't the first guy that make jokes on her. Chris Rock been making jokes on her. Since the, the last Oscar I think she was she was at. And I think she said she wouldn't come back or she would boycott or whoever the hell. Yet she was still there again. But what I'm saying though, it's just a joke. Will Smith is a comedian too. He makes jokes on people. I mean he been in the, in this game for how long? You should know. You gotta have thick skin. Again, I get it. Sometimes emotions get the best of you, and sometimes we all make bad decisions. But as a grown man, he got to eat this one. He dead wrong. And it shows, again, like I say, with all the comments and the posts I see on Facebook and Instagram, where all these Negroes cheering this on. Because Negroes, they really think that you solve every problem with violence. Somebody talk bad about you, you got to beat them up. Somebody says something about your mama, you got to beat them up. You probably even got to shoot them. You got to prove that, yeah, you don't play that. Somebody says something about you you don't like at your job, you got to beat them up at the job. No matter if you lose your job, no matter if you lose your freedom, no matter if you have a wife and kids that depend on you to make money, somebody says something about you, you going to fight them? This is the culture in the Negro community. I've been talking about this and it sucks. This is one of the reasons Negroes going to remain at the bottom and they're going to just keep blaming the white man, the white man, the white man. They're not going to hold themselves accountable for their own actions. This is what we're teaching each, each other and our children and bragging about. Assaulting people because they say something we don't like. Man, y'all out your damn mind. This is sad on so many levels. This, this is bigger than just Will Smith and Chris Rock. It really shows the mentality of a large group of Negroes. They're cheering this on. Yeah, yeah, Will Smith, he's a real one. Yeah, yeah, he he protect his wife. Man, so much times I keep hearing that punchline about we got protect black women, protect black women. 
yeah, like this, we we must just stand up for them for any reason. Even when they're lying, we must put our hand in the fire, just no matter what it is. This is what we call protecting them. Go and fighting somebody because they say something about them. We got to go and fight them. Yo, if I was Chris Rock, I would sue Will Smith, but I know he probably ain't going to do it because that will be frowned upon in the black community. Oh, use a punk, use a punk. They'd probably want to cancel him for doing that. Yeah, they'd probably want to cancel Chris Rock if he sue Will Smith, but he should. And he should sue the Oscars, the Academy Awards too, for not providing security and letting somebody just run upon him on the job. This is a big job, making them millions of dollars. He should have security, he should be safe. Somebody shouldn't be able to just walk up there and slap him. And then Will Smith still turn around and win an Oscar the same night too. His very first one. So this is like one of the biggest moments, if not the biggest moments in his career. And it get overshadowed by he gone up there and act like a damn nigger. Yeah, act reckless. Act like a savage. But then again, that's why that's why we praise in the black community. Not me, but y'all niggers. That's why y'all praise. This dysfunctional, violent, irrational, thug ass mentality and nature. Don't give a fuck about nothing. Yeah, I'll throw it all away. Yeah, real nigga shit. This is sad. I'm telling you. I've been talking about this for the longest. This is sad. This culture is what holding us back. Not the not the Karens and the, the white people and Trump. It's this nigga culture. This is sad. And I'm gonna probably catch 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 slack for it too. For just talking about this. For not jumping on the bandwagon and saying, yeah, yeah, I, I down with Will Smith. He's a real one. No, nah, he ain't a real one. He's an asshole. He's an idiot. He's setting a bad example. He really is. And I ain't even wanna get too deep in it, but to a point too, and then look who he defending. Jada Pinkett Smith, yeah, they say that's his wife or whatever, but she's a damn hoe if you ask me. She belongs to the streets. Send that bitch back to the streets. This is sad, man. It really is. I hope all of us could learn from this in some way or the other, but unfortunately, all I've seen on social media is niggas defending this shit. A lot of black women saying, yeah, this is what we need, defending black women. No, he ain't defending black women. Now if he go to jail now, now if he get cancelled, but you know what? They ain't gonna cancel him because he not white. Imagine if Will Smith was a white man and Chris Rock crack a joke on him and he went up there and slapped Chris Rock. A white man slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars over a joke? Oh, hell nah. That white man would have been cancelled. He would have been in jail. He wouldn't receive no award. He would have been called a racist. This was a joke. Now the joke is on Will Smith. In my book. But if you ask the common Negro, they'll say Will Smith is the shit. I'm telling you, all over social media I see niggas cheering this shit on. He's a real one. Yeah, that's how you do it. So I guess now everybody who says something about Jada, Pinkett Smith, Will Smith, he gonna go and slap them too? Shit, you know what? Fuck Jada Pinkett Smith. Come over here and come slap me, Will Smith. Because I ain't going to do nothing. I'm going to do just what Chris Rock did. I'll be like, damn. And then I'll just sue you. You're so stupid. And you know what? Salute to Chris Rock. Because he actually handled it very good. He had all rights to fight him and defend himself. He would probably get his ass kicked because Will Smith bigger than him. But he handled it professional. He probably was like, yo, I'm at work doing this job. And you know what? I'm not going to fight you. I could fight this whole situation in a different way, in a legal way. And this is why I keep saying Negroes need to understand that this is a way, this is the way how we should fight stuff. With real power, with real moves, not just fighting in the street. You have a time and a place when you have to fight in the street, when you have to fight on the battlefield. Not when somebody crack a joke and say something about you or your wife or your mama. Niggas quick to fight. You say something about their mama? Oh yeah, niggas gonna throw everything away and fight. That's not how it works, man. 
Learn from this situation, Negroes. Don't be a Will Smith. Don't throw it all away. Don't be an idiot. Don't do that. And then I think they say Chris Rock, he say he not want, he don't want press charges. And, you know, Will Smith went up there, get his award, made a long speech apologizing to the Academy and the fans. He apologized to everybody except the man he slapped. That's like another slap in the face. That's sad, man. Fuck Will Smith. I like some of his movies. You know, I can't take that away from him. But we got we got to call it out when we got to call a, a spade a spade, man. This some bullshit. Real talk. Y'all know that shit too. Anyway, we're gonna see how this play out in the next few days. Like I say, I already understand Negroes gonna keep cheering this on, promoting this kind of behavior, inciting this kind of violence. You know, the same thing like when when they get stopped by the police, niggas like to cheer on each other to to act the fool, act the fool, fuck them, be non-compliant, be irrational act stupid then when the ass gets shot oh man they're just shooting us for no reason I didn't see that coming that's why a lot of people don't want to be around niggas or negroes or black people I understand why sometimes I get stereotyped not because I is one of these idiots but I just happen to look like them it ain't always because people racist they see us glorifying incidents like this as a norm the other day i was talking with a friend on these kind of topics about race and black and white and the guy tell me man it have scums in every race you know not just the black race i say yeah i understand that the scums in the white community the white people call them scums the scums in the black community we actually call them heroes real niggas use a real one kept it real but you're scum you stealing you robbing you selling drugs you ain't helping police the neighborhood you're scum but we call them real ones we protect them in every other community a scum is called a scum in the black community a scum is a hero and then y'all want to tell me how y'all so positive and for the black man and try and stick together. Y'all niggas ain't shit. Fuck Will Smith. Fuck y'all niggas. This your boy Rasta Thomas. This is Negro Network. I out. Yo, I gotta kill my mind.